Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Request Tuesday. This is a tutorial series based on requests by you guys, so if you want to make your own request, just leave it in the comments of this video, and I might end up making a video about it. So today's request comes from Frederico Antunes, and he wants to know uh, how to make a certain sound that was featured in one of my videos. So that sound is this um, sound here, made with citrus. So it's kind of a nice uh, growl sound. And I'll be showing you how to make it using citrus in this video. Uh, so I'm going to load up a new instance of citrus. And I'm going to um, set it to the default preset. Now the first thing I did to make the sound is I set operator 1 to be a saw wave. And then I lowered its frequency ratio down to um, 0.5. And after I did that, I went to um, the main panel and I lowered the pitch um, even more. Uh, the master pitch, I lowered it down to minus 12. And now you can hear it's you know, a very deep bass sound. And I set the unison to be four uh, voices. So the unison order is set to four. And on the unison, I took the pitch all the way down to zero. And um, other than the pitch, I left everything else at the default values. So you can hear what this does is it kind of it changes it from a saw um, because having the pitch be the same but the phase be slightly different uh, gives it a little bit of a phased effect. And that makes it sound a little bit throaty, uh, you know, uh, as opposed to a saw wave. Um, it gives it some stereo width as well. But yeah, it makes it sound um, phased and a little bit throaty. Now in addition to this, I set the oversampling up to 8. You don't have to set it to 8, uh, because it, it might, um, you know, if you don't have that great of a computer, it might cause some CPU issues, it might use up too much CPU. So you can lower that if you want to, um, but what it does is it prevents aliasing uh, from you know, the higher frequencies when I do FM synthesis on the saw wave. Um, now if you want it to sound the same as it does inside Apple Studio when you render it, uh, I would match these two. You know, so whatever your draft oversampling is set at, I would match that with your render oversampling um, you know, if you want them to sound exactly the same when you render that sound out. So after I did that, I went into operator 2 and I, you know, I did a volume um, mod x envelope. So in operator 2 volume mod x, I just set it, um, you know, to be a diagonal line like this. The right point is all the way up and the left point is all the way down. And this allows you to, uh, you know, kind of modulate the X mod to, uh, you know, change the sound. So other than that, you know, I didn't really do anything to it, but I did um, set operator 2 to modulate um, operator 1. So this spot right here, I turned it up to about, you know, 40%. You can play around, you can make it a bit higher, a bit lower, depending on your taste. And now you can hear when I increase the level of the X mod. Um, you know, it really has that growl sound. And, you know, if you want that to be less intense, you can turn it down, um, you know, the op operator 2 modulation amount. Or if you want it to be more, you can turn it up. 
but for this specific preset, I had it set at uh, about 40, somewhere around 40 percent. Now operator three, you want to do a similar thing with the volume, but you want to do it for mod Y. So operator two is mod X, um, but operator three is volume mod Y, and then the same kind of envelope. And you do this for the same reason. Um, now this one, I did a quite a bit less uh, modulation, but I did use operator three to modulate operator one. And I did that maybe about, you know, 20%, maybe a bit less. Um, but again, you can adjust that to your taste. But then I changed uh, the frequency ratio. You can see I changed that to eight. And other than that, I didn't do anything else. And you can hear that gives it a much more, you know, higher pitched kind of growl. So, you know, then you can use the X and the Y mods to kind of um, automate the sound and make it sound differently as your track goes along. So that's really, you know, the basics of the sound. In addition to that, I added some um, effects, just delay and reverb. You know, I probably had the room size way up on the reverb, um, the decay could be uh, a little bit longer. But you know, the reverb and delay is very much up to you, whatever sound you're going for, whatever environment you want to put that sound in. But I'll, I'll add some delay. Um, but yeah, so, you know, that's pretty much how to make that sound. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you were able to follow along with that well enough. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comment section. And also if you want to leave your own request for a future video, uh, leave that in the comments as well, and I might make a video about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.